Okay, so that brings us over to Google's Teachable Machine project. And for this project, I want to use images. So I'm going to click on the image project. And you can see there's already two classes made for me here. Uh, and that's all I need. I want one class that's going to be um, full of samples of me without a mask and another class that is full of samples with me with a mask. Um, so let's call class one no mask. And then let's name class two mask. And I'm going to switch on my webcam for no mask. Now, what I want to do is make sure I've got a bunch of kind of different backgrounds, because I think that's going to help the model to realize that the background isn't important for this class. It's really focusing on my face, um, in particular, how much of my face is revealed. So I'm going to click on this hold to record button, and it's going to take a bunch of images of my face. Um, actually, I think while I'm, I think talking isn't a bad thing to be doing whilst this is happening, because again, the, the position of my mouth doesn't matter. It's really whether or not you can see my mouth. So you can see I'm, I'm trying to get a bunch of different backgrounds here. I'm getting my face all sorts of angles, and I'll stop then at around 300 images. Um, so that should be enough to train my model with a fair degree of, of confidence. And you'll see that in just a moment. Um, so that's the no mask um, samples taken. Uh, let's take a bunch of images now, around 300 images wearing a mask. So just as I did last time, I'm going to be altering the background, altering the angles on my face. Um, and I'm trying to train this model now to recognize that these images all have something in common. And that is that there's a mask on my face. Um, so we'll just wait until we get up to about 300 images. So it has the same amount of training data for each class. And let's stop there. Okay. So we've got 302 image samples for with a mask, and we've got 304 samples without a mask. Once I'm happy with the number of samples I've got, I can start training that model. So I'm going to click that train model button just here. And that will then take a few minutes to train. So I'm just going to pause the video here. OK, welcome back. And that's the model trained. So uh, you can see my webcam now is here on the right hand side. And you can see that um, underneath, this is my favorite thing about Teachable Machine. It's got the actual certainty, um, or maybe the uncertainty, I should say, uh, the um, that the model has on what it's looking at, essentially. So right now, I've 100% not got a mask on, um, and the model's feeling pretty confident about that. Now, as soon as I make any changes, like if I sort of bring my hands into it, you can see that uncertainty starts to decline somewhat. Um, if I was to bring my mask onto the video, you can see that model is starting to think, hmm, is he, is he wearing a mask or not? If I then bring it over my face, then that model starts believing that, yes, in fact, I am wearing a mask. Um, so you can see the model's not perfect, but I think it's good enough for what we're hoping to build. So I'm going to use this model now in PictoBlox. Uh, and the way I'm going to do that is by clicking on Export Model, and that gives me the shareable link that I need um, for sharing it with with PictoBlocks. Okay, um, so I'm going to upload the shareable link uh, and then bring that over to PictoBlocks now. Okay. Okay, so here we are in PictoBlocks. I'm uh, I've already actually added the library called Machine Learning, um, so that's already loaded for me. If I just hit back and go to the machine learning library, you'll see there's only two buttons there. There's create a model, which took us to the teachable machine, and load a model. So I'm going to click on load model, and I'm going to paste in that link. OK, and once that model is loaded in, uh, you get access to these, um, these blocks. And what's really nice is those classes that you saved over at teachable machine are already preloaded as, um, as options here. Uh, so we can start using this in our code now. Um, I'm going to pause while I kind of ideate and, and build something cool with this, and then uh, then I'll I'll share it with you. 
Okay, so this is just the start of my uh, program right now. So what I've done is, in my code, I've said when I hit that space bar, uh, open the recognition window, which is this video window on the left-hand side here that you can see. I can move that wherever I want on the, um, on the platform. Let's keep it up here, out of the way. Um, and then I've got a forever loop, so I'm continuously checking if the identified class from the webcam is masked. And if it is mask, then my sprite, uh, I think his name is Toby. Yep, there we go, Toby, is going to say, good mask wearing. So hopefully, if I put my mask on, Toby's going to switch to saying that. Oh, let's run the program, sorry. Good mask wearing, perfect. Uh, and then hopefully, as soon as I take off the mask, Toby will say, hey, wear your mask. Uh, so that's the beginning of what I'm hoping to build. I'm quite excited to show you uh, the next phase of today's project. So I'll see you in just a few minutes. Okay, so more than a few minutes passed, I'm back home now, but let's get straight back into it. Okay, so what we're going to build onto the little breadboard um, is just two LEDs. I've got a green LED and a red LED. So green LED for you're wearing a mask, well done. Red LED for put your mask on. Um, so remember with these LEDs we've got a long leg and a short leg that long leg is going to want to go towards positive and the short leg towards negative so if I put the short legs on the left hand side here um, let's check with the red one as well so short legs on the left hand side again um, and just to save a little bit of hookup wire what I'm going to do is take uh, my resistors, I've got two, two 220 ohm resistors um, and I'm going to use those resistors connect to connect that short leg um, over to the uh, common, ground, um, common ground ok, um, do that again for the red LED so take that second 220 ohm resistor and connect that red LED over to common ground Okay. Uh, I'll make a schematic for this and I'll, I'll share it with you because I know these videos it can be quite hard to see what's going on here. Um, and then I've got two red pieces of hookup wire uh, and these are going to go to my output pins. So I'll connect the long leg of the green there with some red hookup wire and the long leg of the red. Um, and then I'll put these into some output pins, so it doesn't really matter which. Uh, it can be a digital signal. Um, so let's use pin 8 and 9. So put that connected over to pins 8 and 9. Uh, and then let's connect that common ground up. So we'll connect that ground uh, power rail to the ground on my board. And then super quickly, I also want a servo to be set up. Um, so let's uh, attach that server so you, as, as we know with servos there are three three pins here we want the yellow to go to our signal so I'll put a try to match the colors as best I can so let's put some yellow hookup wire so that it's connected to our kind of orangey yellow lead um, some red hook, hookup wire for our uh, our power so I'll 5 volt pin and uh, let's connect the uh, I tend to use blue for ground so even though it's brown on the servo um, I'm going to use blue for this so I'm going to plug this blue straight into the common ground um, then I'm going to plug the red into 5 volts and I'm going to finish with yellow for my output um, I think I'm going to use pin 11 for that because I know that's the default servo pin for uh, picto blocks which we'll be using with the AI. Uh, so that's my setup. Like I said, I'll share a schematic for that uh, in a Tinkercad link um, on the video just below. Uh, so let's head back over to picto blocks now. Okay, so I've edited my code now. Uh, what you can see is we've got this forever loop. Uh, and there's two if-else statements inside here. So the one checks to see if the class uh, is no mask. 
in that case, uh, Toby, our sprite, will say wear your mask. But then it'll set the digital pin 8, that's my red LED, uh, to high. Uh, and it'll send the servo to a 170 degree angle. Uh, I tend to try and avoid 180 just in case for some reason I'm trying to force it beyond, uh, beyond the mechanism. Uh, and then else, uh, set the red LED to low. Uh, and if it's else, then it must be triggering the other uh, sort of positive if statement. So the uh, class must be mask. So Toby S. Bright will be saying good mask wearing. Um, and the green LED, which is plugged into digital pin 9, uh, will go off, will be uh, light lit up. Um, and the servo uh, pin is going to go to a 10 degree angle. Uh, so the purpose of the servo is just to essentially offer a mask. So it's uh, that would be connected to some kind of armature that would um, dispense a mask to somebody who was not wearing a mask. So the 170 degree angle uh, for no mask would mean the mask is um, offered to the person uh, and the 10 degree angle would bring that mask back into the, uh, the mechanism. I'm not going to build the actual thing today. It's, it's taken me long enough just to put this code together and put the Arduino up. You can see I'm in a, um, a different place altogether now. Um, I'm home. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's, uh, let's try this out. So I'll bring up the GoPro footage. And if I don't have the mask in front of me, that LED should be on red. And then as soon as I put the mask over my face, you can see that that green LED is on. Oh, I haven't connected the servo. Um, so let me just reconnect that ground pin to the servo. Um, so now we should be on red. That servo should be at 170 degrees. Uh, the red LED is on. Then as soon as the mask comes over my face, uh, Toby says, good mask wearing. The green LED is on and that servo swings to 10 degrees. And then let's take the mask off. And there we go. Um, so that's today's project. Uh, I had quite a bit of fun with it. I've never hooked an Arduino up to pixel blocks before and I've never used AI uh, with the Arduino either. So it's been a good day. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow's. All the best for now. Thanks for watching.